We know that the forecast for 2023 is 0.2% higher than what you predicted back in October. What was the positive thing that made that difference? Well, what we have found out is that there's been a lot of resilience in the global economy in the last two quarters of 2022. So we've seen tight labor markets in many advanced economies. We've seen private demand that has been actually quite strong, household uh, uh, con consumption, business investment. And we've seen also a lot of resilience to the energy crisis for European economies. You put all of this together uh, and you have a relatively stronger, somewhat stronger activity in the last part of 2022 that leads us to revise our growth projection for that year and it carries over into 2023. And then on top of that, the other piece of good news is the reopening of China's economy that is going to power the second half of uh, uh, the year in, in 2023 is going to power economic activity. On the inflation side of the equation, Pierre Olivier, getting down to 4.3% for inflation in 2024 globally. You know, while of course that would be a good achievement after all the heavy lifting from central banks from uh, the heights that we have seen, it's still well above pre-pandemic levels. When would you expect global inflation to get back to pre-pandemic levels? Well, that's another area where we have a little bit of good news, but we're not quite there yet. What we're seeing is headline inflation, so the overall uh, price index, if you want, uh, seems to have peaked, and we have now headline inflation coming down a little bit. But the core measure, that the one that central banks really pay attention to, because it is the one that is excludes energy and food prices that are a bit more volatile, it's still very elevated. And that's a concern because it means that the job is not done yet. So what we can anticipate is central banks are going to remain sort of in a, in a tightening mode throughout 2023 until core inflation is sort of on a path towards the central bank targets. And we anticipate that we'll get there maybe sometime in 2024.